Founded in the 18th century, this is Ilaru Town, the headquarters of Yewa South Local Government of Ogun State. This settlement, which also served as the headquarters of Egbadu Division of the defunct Western State, comprises more than 57,000 inhabitants, according to the 2006 census. Among them are traders, farmers, artisans, civil servants, students and factory workers. Without meeting words, the population is increasing by the day. Ilaro is 50 kilometers from Abelkuta, the Ogun state capital. Aro, a warrior and hunter who migrated from the Oyo town, was the first person to settle in the area. When he was confronted with fierce battles from the Dahomeans, he had to seek the support of Urona, another powerful warrior. Ilaro has uniqueness. The Ulu of Ilaro and paramount ruler of Yiwa land, Obakende Badiwale Ulubinle, explains how Urona, with his leopard, came, saw, and conquered for the people of Ilaro. Urona, in his lifetime, uh, was somebody who never joke. Uh, with his people. He defends his people, he's a courageous warrior, uh, would, they, uh, would the Dahomey uh, dread a lot. And even after he, he died, uh, in fact, uh, he used to tie a shade around his waist then with a leopard. Uh, and any time, it, it is very uh, rare for any hunter to be, to be hunting with a leopard instead of a dog. So that is the uniqueness of Urona then. Uh, he remained one of the hunters then that hunts with a leopard tied to his waist. Uh, and when he eventually died, uh, he went into the ground uh, with part of the chain uh, outside uh, on the earth. And he told his people then that any time uh, the Daomians or any war uh, is being waged against the people of Ilaru, uh, that they should just draw the shame that it will come uh, back to defend them. But unfortunately, the mystic power behind uh, Oruna was tested uh, when there was no war. So the people, in an attempt to see whether it is true that uh, it will still come to defend them, they went to pull the shame. And unfortunately for them, it came actually, and he started slaughtering, uh, uh, according to history, he started slaughtering his people before he realized that uh, uh, there was actually uh, no war. So out of annoyance, Orona went back, uh, and since then, he has remained uh, uh, history. <laughs> After many years, the collaboration between Aro, whose town now Ilaro, and the legendary contributions of Orona in liberating the people of the settlement from incessant battles has culminated in a social cultural festival designed to preserve and uphold the culture of the people of Ilaro as well as engender unity among sons and daughters in the country and diaspora. I want to seize this opportunity to tell our brothers and sisters in diaspora that they should come home. They should come home, join hands, so that uh, they shall develop Ilaro together. There's, Ilaro is our own London. Nobody is going to do it for us. Welcome to the annual Orona Ilaro Festival.
aki koju ode ogbologbo ode le nwo yen o ekun to fin so de niye oro no fun rara e ni o As a mark of communal bond established over two decades ago, the descendants of Ilaro gather to celebrate one of the largest festivals in southwestern region of Nigeria. <laughs> This festival was officially inaugurated on the 24th day of May 1992 to instill in the indigens of Ilaro the sense of convergence and belonging towards promoting the rich cultural heritage of Ilaro land. Over the years, this week-long festival in its uniqueness and splendor has drawn tens and thousands of sons and daughters of Ilaro, cultural enthusiasts and international tourists to the colorful celebrations. Ojo <laughs> Lati koko se farahan wi pe a se ayeye odun orona o je ijo ti mo ma gbadun julo ti inu mi de ma dun tori mo ma invite awon mo mi wale first of all we enjoy a lot even it makes me see all my friend i've seen for a while i love it very much abi yeah i've never experienced orona the day i said i'm going to steal before i go to school and we are ready to see this orona and I know it's going to be a fun, a lot. It's going to be fun. Wow. What is the significance of the festival to the peculiar occupations in Ilaro? In Ilaro here, in order to remember uh, the legendary uh, effort of Orono when he was alive, uh, some of our elders then, in 1990, in the early 90s, precisely 1992, uh, came together and decided that they need to be celebrating the legendary, the spirit behind the man called Orono. And it was there they decided that Every year, they must be celebrating a festival called Orona Day. Uh, the first Orona Day was held uh, on the 4th of May, 1992. All aspects of Ilaro cultural, traditional and social life are unique features of the annual festival. Colorful festival, carnival float, and road show. To free medical checkup, the cultural Onigbaje ceremony, Igunoko masquerade parade, the magical Egungun display, the colorful Gelede display, and traditional Efe treat. That's not all. The Fun Field CC Ilaro Beauty Pageant, the traditional Ayo Olokon Contest, football competition among secondary schools in Ilaro, and many other interesting games. 
The week-long festival peaks with the pain of homage to His Royal Majesty, the Olu of Ilaro and the Paramount King of Yewa Land by the sons and daughters of Ilaro with music, pomp and pageantry. The Orono Ilaro festival has become a sight to behold. <laughs> Bolojo and Gelede traditional dances originated from Ilaro. These and other cultural uniqueness of the town form part of the festival activities. With the status of Ilaro as the political escorter of Yewa Division and also the political escorter of Ogun West Senatorial District, we felt that we cannot afford to be celebrating Orono uh, just in a day. And we decided to remove a day and we now change it to Orono Ilaro Festival. Uh, why we added Ilaro is that most people, when they said they are celebrating Orono Day, they actually cannot really tie it down to Ilaro. And we felt that uh, while we are celebrating Orono, Ilaro, which already has a brand name, we need to uh, brand the two names together so that people will appreciate that Orono is associated with the people of Ilaro. And that is why we change it from Orono Day to Orono Ilaro Festival, uh, which is now a week-long uh, program uh, with various cultural and social uh, activities that are lined up uh, for the week. The 2018 edition is here with more colorful activities to thrill indigents and tourists. The theme of this year's edition is Festival of Unity. The program has been very, very impactful. Uh, selling our cultural uh, heritage and at the same time bonding our people together, bringing them together in love, in unity. Politicians, public office holders, tourists, cultural ambassadors, youths, children and all progenies shall converge on the soil of Ilaro between 10th of November to 18th of November for the silver jubilee of this annual festivity. It is a celebration of culture. It is a celebration of life. Orono Ilaro Festival 2018. Festival of Unity. Yeah, I won't